Hi, I'm just here in my living room doing a little Bible study. And my son is here in the background. You'll hear him. Just looking into Genesis and some definitions of God throughout the Bible. So we have in Genesis 1-1, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And Genesis 1-2, and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Okay. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. Okay. And God called the light day and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. Okay. Now I just want to go to Isaiah. Okay. Isaiah. One, two. Okay, and this is um, a prophet of the Lord. This is Isaiah. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord hath spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. Okay? That's Isaiah speaking. Through, that did, that's Isaiah speaking. A prophet of the Lord. Okay. So let's go back to Genesis 1, 1. And here are some interesting, interesting definitions to, um, the, just, it's all interesting. You should look at it. But the, in the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the definition of God there is... Rulers, judges, divine ones, angels, gods, god, goddess, godlike one. So that's the definition there. And that continues to be the definition throughout Genesis 1 2, 1 3, 1 4. So God is um, saying, let there be light and dividing. The light from the darkness and calling light day and the darkness night. Okay. And in all of those, it, God is in the definition of it here in the Strong's Concordance, the King, the King's Bible dot com. Rulers, judges, divine ones, angels, gods, God, goddess, God like one. Okay. Surprised Sammy hasn't said anything this whole time, really. Okay, and then we go back to Isaiah. This is a prophet of the Lord. And so, um, the Lord is speaking through Isaiah, basically. Gives Isaiah the words. And here, there's Sammy. <laughs> For the Lord hath spoken, I have nourished and brought up children. And they have rebe rebelled against me. So this is Lord. And this number in the Strong's Bible, the concordance, is H3068. This right here is Jehovah, the existing one. The proper name of the one true God. That's beautiful. Okay. So this is the Lord here. Our Lord, our Father. The existing one, the one true God. Okay. So we go back to Genesis here because this is so interesting. Okay, it keeps going. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters, and and let it divide the waters from the waters. And um it goes on and God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together into unto one place and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth and the gathering uh, together of the waters called he sees. And God saw that it was good. Okay. And it keeps going, keeps going. I'm going to jump to when God 
creates um man in his own image. Okay, this is Genesis 1 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created him. Male and female, he created them. Okay, let's go look at the definition here. The King's Bible, and this is from King James Version, and this is the King's Bible Online Concordance. Gives you the definitions of the words um, in Hebrew. This one's in Hebrew. God here, when he is creating man in his own image, is H430. The definition is the same. Rulers, judges, divine ones, angels, gods, God, God, goddess, godlike. And, it, they, and then it's uh, works or special possessions of God. The true God is one of the definitions. God. Okay? So there we go. We got that. Now, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God, uh, of God created he, him, male and female, he created them. That's Genesis 1, 27. Okay? And just pay attention to that definition of God. It's just very interesting. When we get to Genesis 2, I'm going to skip up here to Genesis 2. Okay? And here it says um, something different. Okay? Starting in Genesis 2, 4. These are the generations of the heavens and of the earth when they were created. And the day that the Lord God made the heavens, oh, made the earth and the heavens. And of, and of every plant of the field before it was in the earth, and every herb of the field before it grew, for the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth. And there was not a man to till the ground. Okay, so here there was not a man to till the ground. Okay, and then... Here, Genesis 2, 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. Cool. Okay. So, out of all those verses, let's go and see. Because this is this right here is when man became a living soul. And this, it says right here, Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. Okay? Breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. Beautiful. Okay? So here we go in all the verses that I read. Okay, starting in 2-4. Lord God. Let's look at the definition of what we're talking about here, okay? Here. God, I'm almost done, buddy, is the same, okay? H430. Rulers, judges, divine ones, angels, gods. God, goddess, godlike, okay? So now we go look at Lord, the definition here, and it's H3068, same as in Isaiah, the proper name, it's a proper name, it's, this is Hebrew, Jehovah, the existing one. The proper name of the one true God. 